Tunisia have their eyes firmly fixed on finishing off the job here, having claimed the win on their travels. There were some voices expressing frustration that they should have been more ruthless in their first leg approach. Perhaps the tie could have been killed off by now, but with home advantage in addition to their narrow lead, things from their perspective look pretty good. They have been told that all home seats have been taken. They are clearly confident in the thought that their team has everything they need to win. Tunisia facing up to opponents who are obliged to come at them. Well, Peter, it may be a narrow lead, but initially they won't have to think about extending it. This has to be an exercise in, in quietening a, a hostile home crowd, and that can be achieved with a, a game plan of, of containment and frustration. A souring of this atmosphere will, will feel like another goal for them, so that's what they've got to try and cling to early on, and then they can manage it from there. And we're underway. Tunisia are back on familiar territory, having secured victory in the first leg. That leaves them in a position where they only need to draw to secure themselves a place in the quarterfinals. That's it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Keeper goes long. Well weighted. Now it's Kasri. And the finish! That really should have hit the net. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. chance to break he's picked him out he spotted the run and played him through shoots there it is and it's Tunisia who take the lead well from right in front of goal there was no way he was going to miss I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass that's what happens Tunisia give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Tries to get it forward quickly. Hit long and direct. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. He's in space and looking for options. Big chance! Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Offside. Yes, it is. May have been cut offside, but Kazri may have been born offside, but he'll continue playing on the shoulder of the last defender, I can tell you. Plays it out to the wing. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Makes for some terrific movement. 
It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. It'll be a throw in. Gets it back. Played out to the right. Good ball. Oh, that's nice. Aimed long and direct. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Chance! He's had a shot! What about it? A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. So now the difference is three. And back to base. Tunisia are in control here on the brink of half-time. He's made sure that that won't get through. Gets it upfield. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. has got good distance on that. And we've reached half-time. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Tunisia go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Looking ball. Kazri. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's got through. Tunisia with this two-goal lead. And they're certainly looking much the more a short side. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. I have to 
to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. He could be in here. Looking to... has a swing at it. Forward it goes. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Looking to force his way through. He'll have a dip. There's a goal. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Mali have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So is this the start of a comeback? Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. He's come loose. Kasri. And it's Kasri. Nothing wrong with that tackle, ball won cleanly. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's had a crack. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he could feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Out to the left it goes. To step in there, that was more than necessary. He's found his man. Chance! Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. No foul, says the referee. And now they can launch a counter. Here it comes. Crunching tackle. come loose and the chase is on I think that's offside yes it is well the defense was at their mercy and they only needed to be fractionally quicker and here's a change that was in the offing last one allowed well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake i think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and i think that's happened in this case to the keeper and go again confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time and that's it First hurdle cleared, 
on to the next one. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort.